No, I found one in my barn. I don't change these too often. Smoking hot. Uh, Tell me turn that off or... I just did. Uh, new furnace. I mean, they got constant torque motors now. Um, they're they're DC motors, so they very very energy efficient. I mean, I mean this thing's from late seventies. So the motor might might not be bad. The pulley broke. Yeah, and that that motor is smoking hot, smoking hot. Um, well, I have to go see if I can find one. So yeah, the pulley's broke. Well, it's probably off an internal overload right now. That's Yeah, yeah, that's the belt looks fine. It's just the the pulley's broke, so Basically what was happening is this was seized up on the thing and not letting the motor spin. So that's why it was clicking and that's why it's so hot. I mean this belt's it's got a little bit of tear on it, but the, the belt looks fine. What you recommend changing that belt? Uh I mean if I got one I will, but first I gotta see if uh I may have to go to Kalamazoo. And uh, get a pulley. I don't. I doubt Mix is gonna have one. They might. I can stop there first. Um, that motor looks a little burnt too. So I mean, this motor may be fried as well. I mean, the motor doesn't look that old. Yeah, I think it's just smoking hot. So let me. Pull this uh, pulley off and see what I can do. And responded pretty quick when he called us. He work out of Denzo. Okay, so let me go on the scavenger hunt for a, I'll grab a motor too just in case, um, in case that thing's shot, so I don't want to make two trips. <laughs> you know guys, I just got back from, this is a mixed hardware here in Battle Creek, and um, you, they had what I needed. You know, this is a three inch diameter, half inch bore. I mean, there's the old one, broke, but I was, I was just right around the corner from where I was at, you know, and then I had a, a new belt, you know, uh, local big, or the big box stores, they would not have, they would not have anything like that. Support your local business people. Um, it's a shame that this is the only one left in Battle Creek. Um, the other one closed up because of, uh, with COVID and, and, uh, everything going on. It's been a complete shit show. 
but you know you can't beat local and um yeah I, i'm just kind of lost for words because i walk in tell them what i want boom yep they have it and you know we go to a big box store and most likely they wouldn't have anything like that i almost guarantee you i was like so i was gonna have to go to my local johnstone which is 30 35 minutes away on a saturday plus you know opening up i you know so i, I tried here first and i i had a feeling they would have it Close enough. So yeah, replace this pulley, new belt, and uh, motor's good. It's warm, but it's not smoked like I thought it was going to be. It'll cool off. Yeah, it'll it'll cool off. I'm gonna kick this thing on here and. Following in your footsteps. Yep, I'm trying to I'm trying to get him to he's been working with me for you know since September. That bottom pulley looks a little kitty wampus. This is an old magic chef. Um, 125,000 BTU, so 100,000 BTU output. We're just a titch over 1,200 square feet. This furnace is from 1978. 1978, folks. I think we're back in business.